All right, guys, should we get it? Should we just throw our old boat to the trash? Right off rip, our go-to taxi guy was carjacked. I guess when I'm itchy, I'm and I don't think I know how to do it. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We've spent the last four years sailing our $5,000 Craigslist boat to some of the most beautiful places in the Caribbean. From spearfishing in South Andros, Bahamas, staying in a treehouse and riding horses through the rainforest of the Dominican Republic, to even dodging hurricanes in Puerto Rico. We could have never imagined what this adventure would become. After gaining more sailing experience, we knew we had to make some serious upgrades to our boat if we wanted to keep this journey going. So we decided to go all in with our 40-year-old boat and get a new engine. We soon realized that we were in for more projects than we originally planned on. There's going to be some major changes coming up, so hit subscribe and join us for the journey. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. We are back with another episode from our Boatyard Bonanza. This time we have talked, Matt has talked to an expert, and we have gotten a little insight on our situation. As you saw in the last episode, we demoed. We started knocking a ton of things out. I might have had a couple of panic attacks, but you know what? It's okay. We all right here. So now that I got my plan of action from my expert friend, I kind of asked him, you know, a couple more details about what I should do. And he basically looked me straight dead in my eye and said, do you have insurance? And I said, no, why? And he said, if you got insurance, send it to the bottom, homie. And then I said, dang, no, I'm not doing it. But he said, well, if you don't want to sink your boat, he said, I actually have a boat for sale if you want to go have a look at it. And might be an option. Let's go check it out. I'm not against buying a new boat, guys. All right, so this is the one and only CS40. Looks like a pretty cool boat. Doesn't have a mask, but I have a mask. And this guy said he'd give me a hell of a deal on it. So let's get into it. What it's a think? pretty big wheel. Yeah, what do you think? Could you see me steering a boat with this big wheel? With your legs? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You can get all four on these bad boys and just monkey climbing. All right, guys, should we get it? Should we just throw our old boat to the trash? Throw old dead dolphin to the wayside and get the CS40? What do you think, Matt? No, we should stick with our boat. I don't know, this one has air conditioning and I, I kind of like it, but it's the old interior again that we're trying to replace. So we would just be getting a, another old boat, but it is way bigger, I, feel, I mean, a little bit bigger. But ours has a better shower. This one has the old wet head, the one that I told you guys that I hate from a previous videos. I like the separate shower and the toilet, not let me sit in my toilet and shower. So let's get back to the boat. We are taking time, we're playing games, but we don't have time for that. It's always good to explore your options. <laughs> All right, so now that we're out of the fantasy, we're gonna snap back to reality. This is the plan of attack for the bulkheads. These two in the front are both my shrouds, my lowers, and then this one is my cap shroud. So this one holds the most weight. Therefore, the plan of attack is to do one, two, three, four, and then five and six in that order. So I'm gonna do the aft lowers, bulkheads first, and I have to tear all this out. I have to cut it off take it out and redo it completely. So what this bulkhead is made out of is half inch marine plywood and then it's sandwiched with fiberglass on each side. Now, part of me says, you know what, Matt, get in here with the grinder, take out the ugly stuff and just kind of refurbish it. Maybe put another layer of West systems on it, some more fiberglass to toughen it up. But I think the best thing to do is just to take it completely out. I don't know how bad it is on the inside and there's only one way to do that, take it off, see how bad it is and replace it with the new stuff. This holds my mast up, so it's pretty important. All right, so first things first, I gotta loosen up my turnbuckle here so I can take my chain plate off underneath. So 
now that I got the bolts loose, I gotta go out and get my chain plane up so I can put some tape down so water don't come in. As it rains. As it's raining. So both chain plates are now up and off the boat and we are going to tape the other hole up but now you can see after we ripped all the cabinets off and we did the demo how bad it really was and now right here where the fiberglass is ripping from the thing now we can see why our cabinets were sagging down and falling so if your boat's like that you know bad things are happening at your bulkheads probably all right y'all good morning so next day, Maddie the Baddie's out here flying solo because I got to chop up these fiberglass bulkheads and I don't want to get fiberglass all over my lovely lady. So tools I'm going to use here is my reciprocating saw, cocked and locked. Then I got to use my grinder. This grinder blade is broken, very dangerous. So I'm going to put a little bit more of a grinder blade on there. So I'm going to grind it down, not the cutting blade. Let's get into it. Safety first. So I'm really hyped on how that turned out. However, I'm gonna need a respirator. We're going to the store, so I'm gonna have to get a little more safety gear. I know, I know, don't yell at me. I just wanted to get that knocked out before I headed out. So we're back on the road again. I had to get a bunch of, I don't have to get a bunch, but I have to get a few more materials, tools and stuff because that project is whooping my ass. I have a bunch, obviously I have to get the fiberglass down to fix it. So I had to scrape a bunch of paint off. We put about 150 layers of house paint trying to beautify our old girl over the years. So I have to get all that off. And I basically made a bomb explode inside of my boat and I got a ton of dust. So I gotta go get the right tools. I got held back. I'm getting frantic out here. Am I losing my mind? Am I losing all my budget time and my my time schedule What's to get everything done? What's happening is we're getting, a, we're getting a few hiccups, you know? We came back to Zleta thinking we had everything figured out and it was gonna be easy to get our supplies, but right off rip, our go-to taxi guy was carjacked. I, I don't know exactly his situation. We're not like good friends or anything, but we basically have no taxi ride. So we've been borrowing cars, but you can't borrow people's cars every day of your entire life. And we're on a special island. So getting supplies and getting to Home Depot and those type of things is not easy for our situation. So yeah, bear, yeah. With, bear with us guys, we're getting through this. We're just getting through hiccups and hopefully we figure all this stuff out. We just gotta get some more supplies and we gotta look at some more things, but we're getting through it. The island got new management now, so you can't put like boards and stuff. 
parked on the ferry, so you got to make special arrangements for that. We thought we had a gangster gangster at the top of the list, but everything changed for us now. We're back to square one. We're not to square one. All right, obviously we're peeping the laminates pretty hard. We're kind of on the fence whether we want to do laminate or veneer. Veneer is obviously a lot better looking. Laminate can be obviously cheaper and easier to work with. So we're kind of figuring out what kind of details, what kind of pinstriping we want to do on this interior refit. Pinstripes? We don't want pinstripes. I'm doing pinstripes everywhere, bro. No. So before I can put my new bulkheads in, obviously I'm going to be tapping them in to the hole and I have to get this old paint off of here. As you can see, this paint is an eighth to a quarter inch thick. So it's quite the ordeal getting it off, but I'm not cutting any corners. The old me just would have said, hey, put the fiberglass right over the paint. It's no big deal. It's going to bond together. It'll probably be, it'll probably be all right but I'm not cutting no corners this time. For the fiberglass to bond properly, it has to be to bare fiberglass. Clearly it can't go to paint. Those of you out there probably already know that, but if you don't know that, you can't fiberglass with the paint, you gotta get it down to fiberglass. So I bought these spindles at the store. That's dangerous. I got that one on the drill, and then I got this one that works for the grinder. I think that's gonna be more of the heavy hitter, but I'm definitely gonna need my gloves on for that because- And your goggles. Oh, goggles. Yeah, that was what I meant to say. I already have my gloves on. I'm going to get my goggles on because that's going to be buck whizzy. What would you do without me? Nothing. Nothing. All right, so even though it was coming off, uh, my batteries aren't going to last forever. So what I'm going to do is use my old get, trippy, get Trixie back, get Cinnamon back, the ultimate stripper. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this on there and then they think the wire brush is going to make a good combo for that. Alright, so I was having wishful thinking that it was going to come off easy, but now that I got the fumes from the scruple in here and I got the stuff flying everywhere, it's just as dusty as it was before, I got to put on my special pants. Now, a lot of y'all think I'm cool, but I put my pants on one leg at a time just like the rest of y'all. <laughs> You're an idiot. Alright guys, so that grinding took a long time. It was a nightmare. It took probably four hours of straight grinding and I probably still have two more to do once I take the bulkheads out to redo them in sequence. But we're ready for the first set. I've cleaned it out with acetone or acetone if you're not from Puerto Rico and it's all ready to go. Now I just got to cut my wood that's going to be tabbed in for my bulkhead. So I went high quality, marine grade plywood. This stuff here ain't no joke. It's like 150 bills a sheet, which did hurt. The redneck in me wanted to just get the regular green board from Home Depot and throw it in there. But everybody said, no, it's muy importante. So I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. And uh, yeah, marine grade plywood. I mean, the bulkheads are important. Though. They are. And I upgraded from half inch to three quarter inch. So bulkheads will be a little bit thicker, but I got room for my chain plates. So let's get to cutting. You saw that boys and girls, I learned that trick off Instagram or shorts on YouTube. I don't know, but I think it worked, so let's try it out. Oh, 
All right, moment of truth, Instagram. Uh-oh. Close. But the problem was we didn't make pretty adjustment out here. See, it fits there nicely, but we didn't think about that. We were... Oh, so we were supposed to do one at a time. Yeah. Dang. We got greedy. We thought we could do them both, but we did one at a time. So looks like probably I could just take that notch off though and we'll still be good there. All right, so the way my mentor, my boss of the fiberglass told me to do was start off with two layers of this and then finish off with a layer of this. This is a little bit thinner. Uh, I guess it's going to be better for tabbing in. Maybe it's cheaper. I have no idea why. And then this one is a little bit thicker and it looks like it's a hybrid, like it's smoother on one side. So better for painting, better looks and stuff like that. Are you still dancing on your surface? Waiting for someone else to change. I am the engine. on waiting for a sign Heaven seeing the light of day No single particle is turning Still no ambition to leave That's why fiberglass looks like to me honestly now that it's wetted out it seems a little bit thin i may do some more i'm not sure though i gotta go talk to the boss and see what he thinks It's pretty late in the day, around five-ish, six, and I've been editing. Matt's been down there trying to finish up all those fiberglassing bulkheads, so I think I'm gonna bring him a beer. It's about time, and I think he needs relaxation. I brought you a beer, and I can see that you really need it. Got me a burchacher. Did you bring me a? Did you bring me a set of wings? No. Because I'm standing on the ledge. <laughs> and I'm thinking about flying off this morning. I thought you had chicken wings. <laughs> I need a pair of wings because I'm about to fly. All right, so after a full day of sanding and basically a full day of glassing in my two bulkheads, I'm not blown away. It seems really, really thin. This mat is nice. It's got a nice finish. I feel good about how it looks. But this one's kind of set and it's still a little bit wobbly, and who knows, maybe it'll- I said he could be jumping the gun and we should wait till it dries. I could be jumping the gun, but for sure, if it's that wobbly tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm not tearing all these bulkheads out. This thing, when I cut it out, I had to beat it out with a hammer and it looked perfectly fine. So this glass here, this fiberglass is like a quarter inch thick on each side of this bulkhead. This 
after three layers, it's maybe an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm not going to throw out these bulkheads if I just clean them up and maybe touch them up with some glass because I'm going to have to do three times at least twice the amount of glass that I've already done. And I'm not thrilled about that. It's going to double the price of my bulkheads. And So are you gonna... saying that we might have started to redo our bulkheads, but we didn't have, we might have not have to do them? We definitely had to redo these. But yeah, but the other ones. Yeah, the, like the one I cut out and replaced it with this, it's flimsier. So I'm not going to replace something strong with something flimsy. All right, another days of work done. Another day done working and another hard, hard lesson learned. It's a hard lesson. I don't know. I don't know. I think we don't know what we're doing. I just said I don't know like three times in one sentence. I don't know. But he told we we're un still unsure of our bulkheads. We're going to have to talk that over. Maybe the thing is we can always add more fiberglass on there to make it stronger but that's going to be a lot of money if we didn't need to do it in the first place it's hard to tell if the woods rotted in the middle so you just we just didn't want to leave anything behind and we go out there with a brand new engine and our brand new cabinets and then all of our bulkheads start popping so we're trying to do a good job and i think you are doing a good job well the job's gonna go fine it's just i don't know I got three layers, maybe they do six layers when they put them in. They're important, obviously, so clearly what's in there is much thicker than what I have. So I'm like, I don't want to put in something that my bulkheads fly out. I don't want my uh, chain plates to come shooting out like rockets next time I'm on the I'm on the heel. Anyways, guys, who liked the other boat? Who thinks that we should buy that other boat? I thought it was pretty cool. I really did like it. It would have been a good boat if we saw it before we bought this one. I would have been like, dang, this thing's nice. We probably wouldn't have been able to afford it. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, it seemed a little, I mean, he said a good deal, but for no mast and the engine didn't look great, I'm still kind of like too expensive for me. <laughs> <laughs> a little too expensive. But it was cool inside. So if you guys, anyone has that boat, let us know in the comments how you like it. My CS40 owners. <laughs> well, guys, make sure you like this video. Give it a share. Subscribe if you're new. And we're going to see you guys next week in this mayhem. We have a lot of junk on our boat, and we look like the worst boaters here at the marina. But you know what? We got a lot of work built up. We got a lot of work built up, and we got a lot of work to get done. You know, I'm just a little itchy from the fiberglass, so maybe I'm... I guess when I'm itchy, I'm and I don't think I know how to do it, but <laughs> I think I need to just come here tomorrow and then bulkheads are going to be rock hard. And you know what? If I got to put more glass on them, I'm, I'm balls deep in it now. I got to put the, I got to put the more glass on them. So it just is what it is. But I promise you one thing, if I got to put more glass on it, I ain't cutting them other bulkheads out. I'm just going to trim the wood out of the middle and slide a new piece of wood down. I'll there. decide. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.